Hello guys! Today we will be working with arrays. We will create an EA that copies the prices of all open trades to an array and print the prices to its log. An array is a data structure that can hold most data values integers, doubles, strings. In an organized set and each respective value can be accessed with its address in the array. An array can have a single dimension, having only one row with multiple columns or multidimensional, having multiple rows and multiple columns like a matrix. In today's example, we are making a single dimensional array that will store the prices of all open trades on our MT5. First, we will declare an array of type double, because all trade prices have decimal points, so we have to store them as double, and then we create a loop to capture the prices of all trades currently open on our platform using the loop we created in our for loop tutorial. We use positions total as our upper limit when we set it as x and we decrement x until it is 0. So, if the total number of trades is 20, loop will start from 20 and run till x is 0. Next, we acquire the ticket of the open trade using its index value on the list of open trades. Its index value will be current value of x and the ticket number is an assigned long. So we declare as u long ticket and we use the position get ticket function to get the ticket of trade number x. Next, we use the position select by ticket function and close in an if statement to select the trade with that ticket. And if the selection is successful, the code within the if statement is run. Within the if statement, we want to save the price of the selected trade to an array and address it to the value of x, as x will never be the same value twice. We use the position get double function to get the trade's open price. The position price open is one of the many values of an open trade that can be requested using the position get double function, and it returns the open price of an open trade. Since a loop runs from its upper limit to its lower or lower to upper, like 10 to 0 or 0 to 10, each time it runs, x has a new value, so I can go from 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, and every time the value changes, an open price is saved to the address in the array corresponding to the current value of x. To avoid an array out of range error, we have to resize the EA's array to the total number of trades. So when 5 trades are open, array can receive 5 values, especially as we did not give EA a fixed size. You can give EA a fixed size by entering a value into the square brackets. For example, if we enter 1000, then the array will hold no more than 1000 values, but by leaving even it empty, it can hold as many as will be sent to it. And to prevent an array out of range, we resize the array to make sure it can hold the values we send to it. Let's comment the size of the array so that we can see the total size of the array we created. We use the array size function 
to find the size of our prices array. So let's see the output on our chart. Displaying the value of 8 means that we have 8 trades open on our platform and if we count we can see that they are 8. To get the open price of a trade indexed one, we can comment the prices array addressing the value stored in cell 1. Now we run. Looking at our chart, the open price of the second trade is displayed. This is because the count starts from zero, so the first trade is trade zero, second is one, and so on. So, if we want the price of the first trade, we address the zero value in our array. Now it displays the value of the first trade in our list of open trades. Now we want to print the open prices of all open trades using our log. We make a loop using our prices array size as the upper limit and we decrement to zero. Next, we print the value of price on every step of the loop. So we start from 8 and print value at 8. Decrement to 7, print value at 7. We continue till we reach 0. Sorry. I use if instead of for. Forgot the semicolon at the end. We still have an array out of range. An array will store 8 values from 0 to 7, so regarding value A will result in an error. So my loop should only read 0 to 7, so my x should be total minus 1. Running at that you can see it printing different trade open prices. Placing its current value of x in front of it, we can see its array address and index value of the open trade on the list of trades. Let's remove the E8 so can't stop printing. Now you can see numbers in front of your prices from 0 to 7. 0 means the first trade open price and 1 is the second and so on till it reaches the last. Mm -hmm.